Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today's video is all about Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf and its integration with the SkyTrack. We had a few viewers ask us how to download some of the courses for Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf and implement them through your computer into SkyTrack so you can use them. That way when you go to select those courses, they'll show up there on screen. So we'll be doing that for you guys here today. Just a quick little video to give you some more information. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf. I wanted to start that for you to show you what courses come standard with the game. And then I'll walk you through how to download a course and put it officially in the folder so you can play that course using Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf. So let's start off at the Pro Shop. Pro Shop, you can go to Courses, and in here you'll find some courses that you can actually purchase uh, directly from Perfect Parallel. Uh, they created some of these courses. They're really good. You will find that there are some user courses similar to like Royal Troon that users have developed as well. So it's really up to you if you choose to decide to download the user course or to actually pay for a course. But some of these courses that are in here, if you're on the online golf tour uh, simulator tour, they will use uh, the ones that you would actually purchase for some of these. So there's a really good deal, if you, I believe, if you purchase all of them. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot for the courses, especially compared to something like E6 Golf, where a lot of their courses are hundreds of dollars uh, to get like a 10-pack. Here you're talking just a few dollars per course, five, six, seven dollars at the most. So uh, take a look at these as well. But let me walk you through what courses come standard with the game. If we want to take a look at the courses, we'll go into solo play and hit on create new game. And you'll be able to see in here all the courses that come standard with Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf. And get a feel for that. So I'll walk you through a few of these. But basically, there's somewhere around 10 to 12 courses that come standard with Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf. Uh, when you first download the game from Steam. And again, uh, there are several other hundred options that you can choose from to download and actually upload to the course. Now, a few of these that are in here, similar to Sand Creek, I've already added myself, so I'm going to walk you through how to do that here in just a minute. But I wanted to kind of give you a feel. Initially, somewhere around 10 to 12 courses will be downloaded with the game. So let's walk you through how to actually download a course and where to save it in your computer, what to do. So that way we can come back in here and I'll show you that it's been uploaded uh, onto the course list. So let's go ahead and close this out because we'll need to refresh it after we download a course. I'm going to go ahead and exit this. Okay, now let's go ahead and go into the website that you'll need to access, which is onlinegolftour.net. First of all, there's three different options you can choose from, play, forum, and courses. I would recommend you do check out the forum. However, uh, Online Golf Tour Forum is excellent. If you have any questions, uh, you can come in here and kind of get an idea on what some of the previous questions that have been asked, some answers to those questions, how to join the simulator tour, which is really cool, by the way. It's $20 for six months, but you can actually join the tour and play against other members online. Uh, so that's definitely something I recommend you do. Also, check out the Discord app for Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf. Uh, just Google Discord and then type in Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf and join the Discord app because you could actually go onto the app before you even play around the golf and join one of their live lobbies and actually join up with other members that are playing simulator golf and then start a game together that way. That way you guys can talk throughout the round. It's a whole lot more fun playing simulator golf with other people just like it is playing regular golf with other people. So definitely something I recommend that you do. Zmax is the moderator, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to him. But he does a really good job of answering a lot of the questions. And uh, definitely something I recommend that you guys check out as well. But let's go back into the courses. So let's click on courses now and get a feel for what's on here. These are all downloadable courses that you can download yourself. Uh, but let's walk you through a little bit how to go through some of these. For example, if you want only real courses, you can click on the real tab up here. It'll show you all the real user courses that have been uploaded into the program using a program they have called CourseForge. Now, a really cool thing with Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf is that all of their courses are geotagged, which means precise, exact measurements as far as where bunkers are located, the distances of the actual holes. Everything's going to be geotagged, which makes it that much more accurate than some of the other programs out there. So that's a really cool feature. Let's say you have a young kid or someone that you want to play some golf with. You can actually click on Kids tab up here and find different kids courses that are geared towards smaller children, things of that nature. Uh, I have a nine-year-old nephew that I use this for, uh, so when he comes over, we can play some simulator golf together 
and it's really a cool feature as well. But one of the first things I do when I go to upload a course is click on last update. I like to see what are the newer updates that have come out. And this is just to kind of give you an idea on when they updated or uploaded those courses. And so if you have one that's on here and they do an update to it, you can come back in here and re-download it. So I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. I've already downloaded Sand Creek and Montclair Golf Club. So I'm actually going to download Camargo Club for you uh, and take a look at that. And we'll go ahead and see, um, actually, you know what, let's do Valhalla. I'll download Valhalla for you, show you how to download it. So let's click the download link here. And you're automatically going to go into a site called mega.nz. Now this is a free site, but it does limit how many downloads you could have in a given day. So sometimes, I believe it's somewhere around 10 or so. Uh, after that, you'll have to wait a little bit of time unless you want to actually create an account on mega.nz. And then you can download them all at once if you want. So it's really up to you. Uh, but I found I just kind of picked the ones I wanted first and just took my time with it. So it's going to take a few seconds to download the course. And I'll show you what to do once it's finished. But basically, it depends on your internet speed as far as how long it will take to download. Alright, so you now see that it's been completed. And at the bottom here, you'll be able to see the course you download. So here's what I recommend you do. Click on the little arrow that's down here. And click on Show in Folder. Okay, so now that you've clicked show in folder, you're going to be taken most likely to your downloads folder as you see here. Um, so I do apologize. Um, let me show you a little bit about the folder. And I'll, I'm going to right click on a few of these things, but you won't be able to see it on your computer screen. I tried figuring this out, but I can't seem to do so. But at the very top, you're going to see Valhalla, which we've already downloaded here. And down here, you're going to see the folder for Valhalla because I've actually gone through the process um, already of basically unzipping that file. So I'm going to delete the one that I've already unzipped just to show you. Uh, so what I'm going to do, and you won't be able to see this on your screen, but what first thing is very important that you guys do is we need to make sure we unzip this file so that way it can be a usable file folder like the ones that you see down here. And what you want to do is you want to download a program that allows you to unzip that file. Most of the time your computer will have one. If you don't have one and you need one, I would suggest a program called 7-Zip. I downloaded that for free. It's a really good program and something you can use to basically extract any zip file that you need. Uh, so 7-Zip is a good option and it's a free option that should work well for you. So you'll see the file that you just downloaded or the course you just downloaded. Typically be at the very top if you put it in that kind of order. All you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and again you won't see this on your screen here but you'll right click on it and basically use that program to extract files here. You want to extract them here in this folder so they don't clog up the folder we'll be moving them to. So I'm going to click on extract here and again that's part you won't see on your screen most likely at least on my side. So I'm going to extract it and once I extract it down here at the bottom you'll now see it. It shows up down here at the very bottom Valhalla and you'll see now that it says file folder. It's no longer a zip file like this one up here. So this is a file folder. So what you're going to do with the file folder is you're going to basically right click it and then you're going to look for copy and you're going to click on copy. So again, you won't see it on your side, but that's what you need to do. Right click it and click on copy. So now we're ready to move it into the courses folder on Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf. And the way we're going to do that is we need to find where the Steam folder is on your computer. More than likely, you're going to go to this PC. This is under File Explorer essentially. And more than likely, it will either be on a C drive or a D drive or wherever your hard drive is situated on your computer. By standard, that's typically where it gets installed. So I'm going to click on my C drive. It's the only hard drive I have on my computer. And I'm going to go down to, we're going to go ahead and look at program files. Now the, on my computer, there's two options. More than likely on yours, there will be more than one option. But I know for a fact that the Steam file is in program files x86. So that's where I'm going to search for it. And what we're looking for is Steam. And you see the Steam file here. So we're going to click that one. We're going to double click it to open it. And now we're going to look for Steam apps. So we're looking for Steam and now Steam apps. I'm going to double click Steam apps. And under Steam apps, we're looking for common. So Steam, Steam apps, and then common. You'll see the perfect golf folder listed in there. And then now we're going to look for courses. So we're here under the courses file. So now we already got the courses ready to go. You'll see, again, I've done this before, so I'm going to delete it. But Valhalla is listed in here. So I deleted it just to show you. All you got to do, you've already copied it from the other file. All you got to do is right-click it, and we're going to paste it in here. You're going to right-click, you're going to look for paste, and you're going to paste it in there. 
And here we see Valhalla now shows up as a file folder, just like all the other files that are in here for the different courses that have already been implemented into the game. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take you back into Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf and let you see that the course has been uploaded to the program. Let's go ahead and open Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf again. It takes a few seconds to open up the program. We're good to go. We're going to start that process. It'll start up the application here. Okay, so here we are. We're back in Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf. So again, the course we just uploaded was Valhalla. So we're going to look for that now under Solo Play. So we'll go into Solo Play. We're going to click on Create a New Game. We'll see the list of courses. So we'll go backwards and find Valhalla. And there it is. Set to go. So let's go ahead and start it. We're going to hit Create. Of course, you can change any of the settings down here that you want to, but I'm just going to show you that it has been uploaded. Go ahead and click create now. We're going to get ready to start the game and we'll start it here. It's going to upload that course right away. It does take a bit of time. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions on how to do this besides what you see in the video, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. Uh, we'll gladly take good care of you. Well, let's go ahead and let this load up. Make sure that it loads properly, that there's no issues with that. All right, so it's going to finish uploading here in just a second. And there you see, it's set to go, basically. At this point, uh, you're ready to play. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how to go about doing this or have any issues, let me know. But again, remember, the biggest thing that you have to do is you have to unzip that file. Make sure to save it as a file folder, which it will automatically do if you extract it in that downloads folder. And then just copy and paste it into your Steam application folder for Perfect Golf. Hope this helps out. Let us know if you have any other questions. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving us a big thumbs up. And if you really like our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel for more information and helpful videos like the one you saw here today. Again, just a quick little video to give you some more information on Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf. If there's anything you would like to see, please provide that in the comment section below. Let us know exactly what you guys are looking for and what we can do for you, whether it be something on the simulation side or anything else that you guys would like to see. As always, thanks again for hanging out with us, and keep on golfing.